In this video I want to show you how to use ships in the Settlers 2. On this map I am located on a small island. Together with two computer opponents. In order to use ships, you have to build a shipyard, and a harbor. For the purpose of this video, I create a non-aggression pact with the computer opponents. In this shipyard, select the expedition ship. Otherwise the yard will only produce small rowboats. To protect your harbor you have to station some soldiers there. Click on the harbor, select collect, and click on private. Adjust the amount of reserves you want to keep in your castle. These soldiers will stay and protect it. Now select the harbor, and select Expedition. The icon will turn green. In order to go on an Expedition, the harbor needs 6 planks, 4 stones, and 1 worker. It also requires 1 ship. At the moment, it is still under construction. The needed planks and stones show up, up to the left of the harbor. Right here. All but stationed soldiers have moved from the castle to the harbor. You can deselect the collect option. Also, in the harbor you can reserve soldiers. The expedition is still planned, waiting for the ship to get finished. As soon as the ship arrives, the pile of wood and stone next to the harbor will disappear. The message says the ship is ready for expedition. Click on the ship. Now it shows some arrows. These indicate which way the ship will travel. I want the ship to colonize this position.
This is not the position I wanted, so I click on the arrow that points to the upper left. Finally the ship arrives at the right place. Click on the anchor to deploy. Now you can start building. Goods that are needed for these buildings will be sent automatically using every ship available. Connect the roads to the harbor when it's done. I temporarily stop building ships, because of wood shortage. Since there is no source of wood on this small island I need to build a forester and a woodcutter on the colony. The fastest way to get resources on your ships is to transport it to the harbor. Click on collect on wood and stone. The harbor has as much storage space as the castle. The new colony harbor is ready. Connect the roads. The ship is now leaving to get the resources need for building. This is a very important step. You have to get some soldiers here. Click on Collect Private. Make sure there are available soldiers, not reserved, in the other harbor, or castle. The ship will load up, and get to the colony. The more ships you have the faster resources will be transported. Now you know how to colonize in the settlers too. Let's skip to the point in which I want to attack the computer opponent. First, I abandon the non-aggression pact. 
even when attacking with ships, you always need military installations, such as guard houses, watchtowers and fortresses. Without them you cannot attack. Click on the enemy harbor. Click on attack options. If you have soldiers available, you can attack. If there were soldiers in the harbor then it will become a fight. In this case there are no soldiers there, so I destroy the enemy harbor. Along with other, non-military buildings. It is also possible to attack military installations, through the harbor. Just click on the military building and attack it. The soldiers will transport via the enemy harbor. If you win the fight, you will get that building. Thanks for watching. If you have any question please leave in the comments below. To play this game you need the original Settlers 2 and return to the roots. I incorporated this in one zip file. The link to this file is in the description. Thanks for watching.